Well, with all the controversy surrounding Gillette at the moment and their new shaving ad, I thought we'll have a quick look at an alternative that may just be the best thing for men yet. At least it was, you know, a hundred or so years ago. So if you have been rocked by this controversy, or maybe you're just looking for an alternate way to shave your face, legs, underarms and whatever other regions there are in the human body, we're going to look at a very classy alternative today. It's quite an old alternative, but in my mind, it's probably the best a man can get. Ooh, you suck! And this is the alternative that we're going to be looking at today. That's it. That's a safety razor. So what is a safety razor shaver? It's simply as it states. It's a very safe way of shaving your face, um, I guess. Uh, you can still cut yourself. I mean, that's just reality. Sorry. If you're new to shaving, cutting yourself is a thing. Back in the day, you had the cutthroat blades, which is what you see in the bum. They, obviously, for their own reasons, are quite dangerous. So when they marketed this, I imagine it was, hey, here's an alternative. Have the same effect that you'd get at the barber at home without cutting your throat open. What a novel idea. This is not disposable. I know, crazy, right? That is metal. You can get plastic ones. If you see plastic ones, run the other way. They're no good. So that bit you keep. Let's dive into the razor. You need to get yourself some blades. Feather, they work the best for me. Now, just to let you know, I do have very sensitive skin. I know, I know what you're thinking. Impossible what you get. Have a look at that complexion. It's so model-like. I mean, hello, Calvin Klein's on the phone. They want to do a shoot with you. You know, I've just got that sensitive skin and having a razor that sort of rubs against me too much tends to flare things up or it just feels itchy or sore. I don't have a nice day. You know what it's like. You shave badly or you just have a generally bad shave. Your whole day's ruined. Feather, they are brilliant. So you pull your little feather bit out. That's them in there. I, I pull this out with the top but yeah I'll just do another one for the camera they're wrapped up got a little reservoir in the back here so you can just put your, your used blades in there and it's all safe and you're not gonna leave it around for the kitties or cut yourself your fingers don't cut your fingers there we go so it's got all those notches in it for various ones of these if, if there are various ones I've only played with this one but you know they can go into different types of shavers and that sort of thing so you just simply Place your blade in there, it doesn't matter if it, which way you put it in, you just place it into that, close it down, and there you go, that's locked in. That, 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 that doesn't come undone very easy at all, um, it, it's quite awesome. So shaving creams, what do you use? There's so many. Today I'm just going to focus on the more traditional method because you know you might as well make your shaving a bit of an event if you've got some time. This one here. Um, I believe it's an Italian brand and um, I love it. It's probably the best one I've ever tried out of all shaving creams whether it be aerosol or rub-ons and whatever else, the sticks, you name it. Basically what this is, is just a cream. That's all it is. You do have to pay a little bit more for it but it does last you quite a long time and it's just great to work with. This I've recently discovered thanks to my uh, family back home for Christmas. I got this little shaving package. I haven't used gels much. Uh, long, long, long time ago uh, I, I played around with one that I didn't like. It burnt my skin and made me feel yuck. But this thing, this thing's really good. So it is just a gel. Um, that's, that's basically a clear gel. When you're in the shower and you, you got your face wet and all that, you give it a bit of a lather up, go over your face with a bit of water and it foams up nicely. It's got a really good scent to it, it doesn't react bad to your skin and it really holds on there. So go with that if you're the shower shaver. Shower shaver. You shower shaver you. Just gonna wash my hands. What I've got there is called a badger hair brush. I've tried a couple, um, the synthetic ones tend to have more harsher bristles, um, which my face doesn't react well to that at all. I got this thing, would you guess, would you have a guess, where did I get this? Yes, of course, wish.com, badger hair brush, look for that. Let's not waste any more time, that, that's pretty much the essentials of what you've got to do. Let's get some water on the face, get some soap, and we'll start shaving. Did you ever think you'd come to YouTube and watch someone shave their face? Could be shaving other things, you'd be thankful. I've got some decorum. <laughs> you wet your brush. What I do is I, I get it nice and wet like that. Squeeze any of the excess out. And then, um, yeah, 
circular motion. As you can see, mine's got a bit of a well in it. You just, that's it. Just a little circular motion, same way. Don't mix it up. Don't put too much pressure on it. There you go, look at that. And then just start painting your face. Now, I do it in the sections, so the foam doesn't dry out on me, because if the foam dries out, it actually makes the shaving experience much, much worse. That's that part done. Now we get the raisin. So don't overthink it. I go down. I go I go down with the grain just because that works best for me. Some people go against the grain. On my neck and in various parts, I will go against it. It's just easier. So I come up here, sideburns. Two strokes on one side. Two strokes on the other side. That's all there is to it. Now, the best bit of advice I can give anyone who's never used a razor like this, or just using razors in general, let the razor do the work. Don't force it, don't push it, don't yeah, dig it in. You're gonna cut yourself. You don't wanna cut yourself and put the toilet paper on you and walk out and ha ha ha, I'm gonna make toilet paper face. Just let the razor do the work. It's simple as that, lightly over it, it knows what it's doing. Now, another thing that I've found for me, especially works really well, after I've done that, there's still always a little bit of grain left. So, I come back, I just wet my face again. Do it a quick. Don't go too fast. If you're doing this for the first time, take it slow, take it light on your fingers. I've been doing this for a long time. So, I'm just impatient and I'll cut myself. That feels really good. If only I could get you to feel this, just reach out and give it a rub. That was peculiar. I can't talk like that, Gav. People see this, kids are watching. Just stop it. <laughs> Humming does help a lot. Humming's good because it, it, it brings out uh, a bit of happiness in you. Singing is good for the soul, even if it is just humming. And it's also great if you're in a shared environment, uh, or you know, a lot of people just are in your family, live in your home. It's a, it's a polite way of announcing, hey, bathroom's occupied, go away. Okay, now, I'm not gonna, ah. Uh, yeah, cut myself, because um, I was talking and shaving. So lesson number two, or three, or four, don't talk while you shave. Ah, right on the lip. Cut myself again. You're probably thinking at this stage, I'm not going that way. This guy's cut himself, like, how many times already? That's just because I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot. You're smart. You won't sit here, talking to a camera while you're shaving. You're smart people. Mmm. Taste of my own blood and stupidity. If you're a company and you got some products that you'd like reviewed, send them my way. I'm bound to balls it up. And because I just don't plan ahead. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, the blood. Oh, oh, oh no, we've got a bleeder. Yeah, there. Yeah. If you're gonna do this, uh, a good, good trick is two ply. Put one there, put one there, put one there, put one there. Put one there. On there. All right, so that's it. Um, an alternate to shaving. Ugh. Oh, good God. Um, this 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 went really badly, and I I do apologise for that. Ugh, that. That that's just wrong. Experiment for yourself. See how you go. Uh, uh, I generally, I, I love this setup. It's great. It's the best that I can get. Ugh. I did all this on purpose and I did it for you to show you the importance of concentrating, taking your time and not talk and not talking while you're shaving. So there you have it guys uh, and girls if you want to do this to other parts of your body and um, safety razors. They are great. I'm just I'm just kidding around. I'm not really bleeding. This this is all 
This is all makeup. This is um, movie magic. Mm. See? Gorgeous. Soft. I feel great. I feel like I'm ready to conquer the day and, and, and be wonderful. So, guys, if you haven't already, give this a like. It's entertaining, right? Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Usual deal. And click that bell icon, because who doesn't like bells? We'll see you next time. Take care.